China's newest stealth jet, the J-35, has just revealed a game-changing secret. It's now paired with the LD-8A anti-radar missile, a system designed to detect and disable radar sensors while staying invisible itself. This marks the first time a stealth aircraft combines radar evasion with precision sensor targeting. Experts call it a milestone that redefines what stealth means, transforming it from simply undetected flight into total radar dominance. At the heart of this story is the stealth fighter designated the J-35A, with its carrier-capable sibling often cited simply as J-35. A full-scale model of the J-35A appeared displayed alongside various missiles, including the LD-8A anti-radiation missile. Reports indicate the LD-8A shares design cues with China's PL-15E air-to-air -air missile size, shape, but instead of homing on aircraft, the LD-8A is configured to home in on radar emissions. The anti-radiation munitions category is significant because radar systems serve as the eyes of modern air defense networks, and striking them reduces the defender's ability to monitor and respond. In the display, the J-35 model showed the missile among its internal weapons bay loadouts, hinting at internal carriage, a hallmark of stealth design, since external stores degrade low observable performance. Analysts noted that the J-35 series features internal bays, edge-aligned surfaces, and design attributes aimed at reducing detection signature. This suggests that the aircraft is built from the outset to carry advanced payloads without sacrificing stealth. The inclusion of the LD-8A alongside the similarly dimensioned PL-15E hints at a missile that may use the same airframe but swap in a radar seeker head instead of an active radar or infrared seeker. According to one commentary, this variant should be at a world-leading level given China's maturity in missile electronics. The public display, therefore, presents a credible visual cue. The Stealth Fighter Plus anti-radar missile pairing is real and intentional. What this reveals is more than just new hardware. It signals a shift in mission profile. Instead of stealth fighters simply engaging other aircraft or delivering precision strikes, this combination enables them to suppress or neutralize radar systems, opening up the sensor space for follow-on operations. In other words, the stealth fighter is now being aimed at the guardians of detection rather than only the targets of detection. The claims surrounding this capability are compelling, but a thorough view means separating confirmed facts from emerging possibilities. On the confirmed side, the J-35A is publicly recognized, reported as part of China's fifth-generation fighter inventory. It is said to possess internal weapons bays and low observable shaping with refined edge alignment and radar absorbent coatings developed for reduced signature. Additionally, the LD-8A missile has been publicly displayed, with the J-35 model showing it among its available ordnance. These visual cues support the narrative that this pairing is in development and possibly nearing fielding. On the less certain side, we lack independent verification of full operational deployment of the LD-8A on active J-35 squadrons. We don't have publicly released performance data, such as missile range, seeker sensitivity, or real-time electronic counter-resistance metrics. We also do not have a clear picture of the support ecosystem, radar emitter catalogs, sensor fusion, electronic warfare aircraft, target designation infrastructure that typically accompany anti-radiation missions. Anti-radiation missiles often rely not only on the missile itself, but also on a network of sensors to identify and cue radar emitters. In many previous systems globally, specialized electronic warfare platforms accompany the missile carrier, ensuring accurate emitter triangulation before launch. Therefore, for the viewer, it's vital to recognize. The pairing is entering the visible stage, yet it may not be at full mission-capable scale. That means we are seeing a prototype or early deployment glimpse rather than a fully mature, widely fielded system. The difference matters. A capability that exists on paper or in display may differ significantly from an operational squadron with readiness, training, logistics, and integration across multiple platforms. In strategic assessment, that gap influences how quickly it can affect calculations and planning. Thus, while credibility is strong in terms of development 
and display forms. On-the-ground readiness remains uncertain. In this light, the prudent view is that China is advancing a bold capability that may shift into operational status soon, but the exact timeline and scale remain to be demonstrated. If the J-35 and LD-8A combination reaches operational maturity, the implications ripple across how aerial and sensor domains are managed. Traditionally, suppressing or disabling an adversary's radar systems has required aircraft to approach risk zones under threat of detection, with reliance on external sensors or dedicated electronic warfare platforms. With a stealth fighter internally carrying an anti-radar missile, the dynamics change. The aircraft can approach with a lower detection footprint, carry a missile specifically built to home in on radar emitters, and launch with less warning to the defender. That means the sensor network protections around ground-based installations or fleet defenses become more vulnerable. In theater-specific terms, regions where geography places defenders in fixed positions, such as coastal radar arrays or island-based installations, may become especially sensitive. If one side can penetrate those sensor belts with stealth-armed platforms, the chain of detection and response is disrupted. Additionally, the shift signals that stealth aircraft are evolving beyond air superiority or strike missions into the domain of sensor suppression. In essence, instead of simply being hidden shooters, these platforms become active agents in shaping the battle space by removing detection and surveillance assets. That forces defenders to adapt they may increase passive sensors, which don't emit. Distribute radar sites, enhance mobility of their sensor network, or invest more heavily in electronic warfare and decoy systems. It also means logistics and sortie rates may matter more. Stealth aircraft with internally mounted armament can carry more consistent loads, maintain a lower radar signature, and potentially operate closer to front lines or contested zones, with less reliance on heavy external stores. From a broader security domain perspective, this pairing raises the bar for access and operations in zones previously considered relatively protected by sensor belts. For policymakers and enthusiasts alike, the takeaway is, we are witnessing a move towards stealth platforms being able not just to avoid detection, but neutralize the detection system itself. That can shift how scenarios of contested airspace or maritime zones are planned and executed. It also encourages the viewer to think about what comes next. Will adversaries invest more in passive detection? Will networks become more resilient or more dispersed? Will this push an acceleration in stealth plus sensor suppression doctrines globally? In short, the J-35-LD-8A pairing isn't just another aircraft and missile. It signals a step change in how detection, stealth, and weapons integration merge to influence control of the air and sensor environment. Thank you for watching. We've unpacked how China's stealth fighter has been shown with an anti-radar missile, evaluated the credibility of that pairing, and surveyed the potential strategic impact of such a capability. While some elements remain emerging and unconfirmed, the direction is clear. Stealth platforms today are evolving into systems that can target the sensors of super networks, not just engage other platforms. Watch for further announcements, production updates, and fielding data to see how this capability matures. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.